Impact Interview is sponsored by the Pocono Mountains, where small town charm meets big adventures. Book your trip today by visiting PoconoMountains.com. Welcome back. Time for our Impact Interview. This year's first guest is the same as last year's first guest, Dr. Pat Kraft, the perfect leadoff man because there's always a ton of issues to discuss from the off season, and he happens to be the boss for the athletic department in Happy Valley. Pat, thanks so much for joining us again this year. Happy to be here. It's great to see you guys. Uh, like uh, It feels like just yesterday we were all together <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, we're going to get through that intimidating line over your head. We love it. That's a perfect spot for it. Uh, keep, keep that stuff right there. It's good stuff. So, look, we threw a bunch of topics in a hat and just reached in to find a starting point, right? Never a dull moment on the job. Less than two months after the Big Ten releases the 2024 and 25 football matchups with a lot of excitement, they go ahead and add Oregon and Washington. So how hard is it? with even a shorter window to get this scheduling completed. I, I, I do think the system that, that uh, the Big Ten put in place, which took a while to get us with the two LA schools and get us to a, a point where we released it, uh, whatever, however months uh, ago it was, I, I think they're gonna try to make it as easy as possible. I don't know, I think there's a lot of moving parts. Um, I don't have an answer for that. We had a call yesterday, kind of starting to have that discussion. Oregon and Washington were on the calls. Uh, but I, 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 you know, look at they're shooting, I hope in a mid September, I think it's really important. A lot of us on the call, it's important for our fans to know uh, where we're going and making plans. So uh, they understand that they understand the sense of urgency. So I have hope that it will get done uh, uh, ASAP. Pat, currently there's a lot of discussion and another topic that I know is has certainly dominated the headlines this off season, but there's a lot of discussion about congressional and federal legislation about NIL. Some of the proposals include some transfer portal limits, health care for current and former student athletes. Uh, for you personally, what are some of the things you believe would be critical to address in any legislation going forward? Well, Jay, I think that's a, it's a really good question, and it's, it's a little bit uh, all of the above. I, I think we have to do a deep dive into where we are right now. I'm a big proponent, I think, uh, of NIL. I think it's great, but I, I do think people are taking advantage of it. I think it's, you know, gotten into the world of recruiting inducements and um, it's gotten a little out of hand. Um, I do think we have to always take care of, of our, um, the health and welfare of our student athletes. And if they come here, we've got to make sure that they leave here in a, in a really good spot. And that's physically, you know, emotionally, mentally, I'm a, I'm a very big believer in that. Um, so I think healthcare is really important, but you know, uh, we do a lot in that space as it is, as you know. So I, we, as in college athletics, um, whether it's covering insurance and, and injuries and, and so on and so forth, uh, I, I think the transfer portal, I do think has to be looked at. Um, I'm not opposed to transfers, but I, I just don't know if you're transferring three or four times uh, from an academic standpoint, I think that's, that's really challenging and it's hard and it's hard for everybody involved, including the student athlete. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm open to hearing and, and, and hopefully we get some guidelines and, and, and everything that can unify us. I do not think having 50 different rules and regulations in different states, I do not think that's the right thing to do. But, um, you know, we'll work within the, the confines that we're given. Dr. Kraft, one of your key initiatives at Penn State has been student athlete welfare and notably mental health for student athletes. What drives that and why do you feel it's so important to destigmatize that part of athletics health? Yes, Scrap, I appreciate that question. I, I, I just have seen it you know, very, and it really quick when I became an athletic director, one of the things that I, I feel, wait, I don't know how many years ago it was, but I, I, it really, the more things that came across my desk, it, it was evident that mental health was a really, really big issue. And I, I know it's, it's always been prevalent and it's, and, and I think it's always been important, but the stress that is put on the student athlete, and I think our jobs as educators and leaders is to make sure that we build, uh, we, we provide them a transformative experience here. And, and, and that has to do with their mental, I mean, and it, and it, and since, I don't know, I've been an AD for eight, 10 years now, I think it's it, since COVID and all the stresses with NIL and, and social media, uh, uh, mental health is, I think the most important piece, not just in sports, but in college, that's a really transformative time for just a college student. And then we want to go win national championships and, and make sure you do the, obviously do the best you can in the classroom and socially, don't you dare make a mistake, right? Like, 
there's a lot of pressure on our young athletes. And so we hired four um, mental health professionals. They've been amazing. Uh, we continue to talk about it from a destigmatization. Hey, listen, raise your hand. I, I try to talk to them. Like, I think it's important that everybody talks about it because we shouldn't run and hide. And I want to build that culture. And I think we're there where people are really honest with themselves. We all know if you had a bad shoulder or a bad knee, you'd get it fixed. Well, your mind is the same way. And all of those pieces go into, oh, by the way, if you do all these things, you, you, you also, the outcomes of winning and being successful in life are part of it. So we really stress every time I talk to the athletes, I want them to understand, take care of themselves, take care of each other. Um, and, and um, you know, don't put so much pressure on yourself. It's, it's just so important. Safe to say we could describe you as excitable. It's hard to tell that you're not still competing out there as you're watching and, and, and enjoying some of the events. So what was the best part of year one for you and any surprises out there being a Nittany Lion? Wow. Um, you know, there were a lot. Look, at, I, I, I feel very blessed to um, put on the Penn State here every morning and put on the blue and white and come to the office. I mean, there's so much history and tradition here. There's so much opportunity. So you know, every day my family and I have been welcomed by the community in an incredible way. Um, this is an amazing place. It really is. There's a soul here. Uh, there is no ceiling. We can win at everything. We can do it the right way. We have the blueprint is here. It's been established. You don't have to color outside the lines here. You can just do it this way and you can be successful. And so that has rung true uh, when I got here. Um, the, the, I knew Penn State was big and I knew it was powerful. It's why it was my dream job, but it is more, it is bigger and more powerful than I ever imagined. I mean, we go, I remember getting off the bus at Purdue and the fans that were there, I was like, holy cow, like this is real. And then Jeff at the final four for lacrosse in Philly and the bus and the people, and it's just the passion and the excitement for everything Penn State, not just us, but the institution. Make sure you're hanging with us. We're going to step aside for the TV show to take a break. We will continue our interview. So if you want to see the entire conversation with Dr. Pat Kraft, make sure you go to NittanyGameWeek.com for the entire interview along with other web-exclusive content.